okay so before we write any code in the industry what we do is we create a roadmap or a flow chart and in that we mention all the steps that we are going to perform right and we also create documentation on it so that if somebody else is trying to you know read our code they should quickly get an understanding what we are trying to achieve here so if you see here we have clearly mentioned the first step is to import the relevant libraries that we are going to use this always comes after a lot of discussions among our team members that what all the tools do, do we need in order to execute this program, right? So here we are going to use uh, three libraries. First is the pandas, the second is the matplotlib, and the third is the seaborn. And we are just using the matplotlib inline so that we can plot the charts uh, within the Jupyter notebook here. The second step, once the libraries are imported, is to read the data file. This is a very small project, so the steps are also very simple. But as we progress in our course, we'll build more and more complex codes and we'll see how we can create a flowchart before we execute any types of code. Okay, the step two is to read the data in a data frame using the pandas library read underscore csv module and the file and the data file both are in the same folder so that is why we don't have to pass on any path we're just simply pulling it using the file name and the file name is advertising.csv okay once the data is there and from the data we know that there are 200 records of course you can print that out we did not do it here but there are only 200 records and by using the dot had method we can see the first five records here and we also see that there are five columns as well and the first column seems to be of no use for us it's just a sequence of numbers that we don't care right at this point and it's not useful for us so what we are going to do is we are going to drop that column and look at the two things here axis is equal to one and the in place is equal to two parameters axis is equal to one tells that uh, we have to drop a column and not a record. If x is equal to zero, that means it is trying to drop a record with a label name unnamed. But here we are trying to drop a column. And in place is equal to true means we are trying to overwrite the same data frame and not create a new data frame here. Then we check the sample data again. So keep this in mind whenever you do some kind of data manipulation, always keep checking your data frames. So here we see that our unnamed column is gone now and the same record still stays. Okay, so the next step is uh, the plot all the input variables versus output variable. So whenever we create a code in our group projects, we always try to see are there any libraries which can readily do it for us before trying to create our own algorithms, right? So we know that uh, there is a pair plot module in the Seaborn library which can do this thing for very easily for us. The main intention is to able to plot the relationship between each of these column in relation to the output variable. That is the main intention here. Okay, so we are use, using the C1 library's uh, pair plot and we are passing four things here. First is the data, which is our data frame. The second is the X variable, which are the inputs, uh, basically the predictors. Uh, here we have TV, newspaper and radio. You can have more if the data was different and then we have the target which is our output variable and that, that is nothing but the sales or the return that it is bringing after those advertisement height is an optional parameter this basically shows what should be the height of your graphs here okay there is also other parameters such as aspect we, we, those are all optionals and you can later on use it right now we want to keep it as simple as possible and we also have to pass on what kind of plot are we trying to build here and we are looking for a scatter plot very simple and very straightforward and that's why i love these python libraries they make our life so simple just by you know four lines of code we are able to see how is the relationship between my input variables and output variables okay so my linear model says that my each and every individual predictors or variable should be having a linear relationship with the output variable so if you see here on the y-axis we have the sales in all the three graphs and in the x-axis in the first case we have the tv ads we have the newspaper ads and then the radio ads okay so in the first case we can see that we can actually draw a straight line 
the relationship between TV and sales looks like a straight line. Of course, it is doesn't look like exactly a straight line, but somewhat still better a straight line. The second one, very random. I cannot draw a straight line. It looks it spread everywhere. And the third radio still can be drawn a straight line. But this is what we humanly see and we try to comprehend. But we'll actually see when we do a complete machine learning project on this data that which of these factors are actually influencing our you know final sales but for now the main point that i wanted to put here is how can we use python programming to see the relationship between my target variable and the input variables okay so here we see that and gets a rough idea that tv has more influence on the sales because it is linearly related newspaper doesn't show a certain relationship here and this is where we say that this is not a linear that means it's like a non-linear kind of relationship radio somewhat still looks like a linear because as you move to the right that means you are investing more and more radio ads your sales is somewhat increasing but then of course there is not a clear pattern but still we can consider that as a straight line but tv and radio seems like a linear relationship newspaper does not okay to finally summarize uh, in our advertisement project what we can say is my final final uh, sales and whatever i'm going to get will be some constant okay so that means it is irrespective of any ads we put or not put plus by a factor of say m1 times my tv ad plus some times of m2 times of my newspaper ad and some m3 times my radio ad right so this is my linear relationship among all the variables uh, the tv ads the newspaper ad and the radio ad in uh, you know the output is the sales so this is what we are hoping that there will be a linear relationship but as we saw in the data the newspaper doesn't follow a linear relationship so later on we'll see that why always a linear regression model may not work but at least you got the idea that what does it mean by linear models okay again thanks for watching and please continue to support us on our channel mirror neuron which means watch and learn thanks